you guys, it's Christina, and today we are gonna be making fully raw strawberry shortcakes. Pure love. Sometimes it's okay to indulge just a little bit, and whether or not you're trying to show yourself some love or perhaps even make these delectable desserts for someone that you love to share them with them, you will love these strawberry shortcakes. These are rich, they are creamy, they are sweet, and they are smooth, and just oh, absolutely delicious. And I know that you will love them. Are you ready for a taste of pure love? Here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. For this recipe, you will need a Vitamix blender, a food processor, a pie pan dish, or a serving platter. Pretty. Our first layer is gonna be our shortcake, or our crust. And so for this first layer, you will need approximately one to two pounds of wet dates, one to two cups of raw dried mulberries, approximately one cup of dried figs. I have white figs and black figs here. Some cinnamon, and even a pinch of vanilla. So when you have all the ingredients for your shortcake, we're just gonna put them into our food processor, turn it on, and pulse it until it becomes a fluffy type of crusty consistency. So when you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and put in one layer on the bottom and press it down. For our next layer, we're gonna take freshly sliced strawberries and we're simply going to layer them on top of our shortcake. So after you finish laying on about two layers of freshly sliced strawberries, we are gonna make our fully raw Cool Whip to spread on top. And so for our fully raw Cool Whip to spread on top, you will need approximately two cups of fresh almond milk. Before I made this recipe, I went ahead and I made fresh almond milk. If you want to know how to make fresh almond milk, you can reference my coffee video right here. The meat of two to three young coconuts. And if you want this to be a low-fat strawberry shortcake, you can use one to two frozen bananas. Or if you want it to be super creamy and frothy, you can use some raw cashews instead. And I just want to add, if you want this shortcake to be very low in fat, then you can totally leave out the coconut and just use banana. You'll also need just a dash of cinnamon and one small pinch of vanilla. So when you're ready, we're gonna throw them in the blender and make Cool Whip. So whether you decided to use cashews or frozen bananas, it's gonna come out super thick and creamy, just like Cool Whip. Mmm, mmm. And if you want it to be even sweeter, you can even add in a few dates. So when you're ready, we're now gonna layer in our Cool Whip on top of our strawberries. So when you're done with your first layer of Cool Whip, we'll go ahead and we'll layer on some more strawberries. So after you've finished your second layer of strawberry slices, we're gonna mix it up. We're gonna add in the last bit of strawberries into our Cool Whip, and we're gonna make Strawberry Cool Whip. Oh my gosh, this is like a creamy banana coconut icing spread. Oh, it's so good. So when you're ready, we're gonna take our strawberry Cool Whip and we're gonna spread it on top. So when you're ready, we are gonna go ahead and we are gonna layer on our last few slices of strawberries. And if you thought that was it, oh no, we've got one final epic layer to add, and I'd like to call it the Strawberry Glaze. And for this simple layer, all we're gonna be doing is taking about two cups of strawberries and a cup of dates, and we're gonna be blending them together to make almost like a strawberry jam to spread on top. Ooh, look at this beautiful strawberry date glaze. So when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and put on our last layer of sliced strawberries. Isn't this the most gorgeous strawberry shortcake that you have ever seen? <laughs> and if you wanna firm it up, all you have to do is put it in the freezer for approximately four hours and it will become solid. 
This shortcake is so delicious, it's almost like one giant layer of just smoothie and cream and deliciousness. And once you take a slice of this absolutely perfect pie, you will see that it is epic, it is delicious, it is gorgeous, and it is something very special that you can share with your family, with your friends, and even with yourself. If you're ready to show yourself some love and give this strawberry shortcake a try, I think you should give this video a thumbs up. If you guys need more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun in the kitchen making delicious desserts together. If you guys want to follow me daily or see what I'm eating or see what I'm doing, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. Sending you all all of my love and all of my hugs. Bye.